when it comes to tracking private wireless, I would say that uh, it, it's kind of taken on different shapes and forms. I've, I've been an analyst with the Dell Group since 2010, and already at that point in time, there was a shift from macros to small cells, and small cells was a hot topic, and then it kind of has evolved since then. We had small cells going to basically the enterprise uh, uh, wireless, and then uh, now over the past couple of years, with, uh, with the CBS spectrum becoming available, I think the private wireless is becoming more of a uh, more hot topic. And uh, yeah, the way we, we, we track it, of course, there's, there, there are different ways of, of tracking it. No question there. I think private wireless is one of those terms that's, uh, it's not a complete, um, uh, yeah, everybody's going to have a different opinion on, on, on what exactly what it is, not only in terms of what's in, in included, what, what spectrum is required to, to, to be considered a private wireless. There's going to be different ownership models. We see different interpretations when it comes to the configurations with PNI, NPN versus complete standalone. Uh, and then, of course, when it comes to the access uh, of private wireless, uh, there, there are differing opinions there as well. It's like it should be completely dedicated for private access versus public. So we, we kind of have different degrees of spectrum with those type of, with the, I would say with those four core pillars. Uh, from our perspective, I mean, we, we, we try to uh, be pragmatic, but we, we, we are looking at it uh, from, from various angles. I would say, from, especially when we try, track the private wireless RAN market, we do include uh, some of these hybrid deployments that might be utilizing the, the public core network as well. It might be using public core, but then dedicated RAN. So those are, that's kind of a, a little bit of a debated area, but we, we included that. We, we kind of align a lot with the, I would say the 3GPP NPN uh, definition of, of private wireless. And uh, so that's how we track it primarily right now in the uh, in the RAN area, but of course it, it shows up, you can't just hang up radios, it shows up in, in all the various uh, uh, te uh, uh, telecom equipment segments that we track at the Delora Group, including uh, the core network, the, the transport, but, but for now we break it out in the RAN, uh, and we might, uh, of course, evolve from that in the future. But yeah, so, so far, uh, I would say, just looking back a couple of years, like I said, we have had different hype cycles, and uh, I think uh, uh, it's possible that in, in you could say that uh, private wireless has not perhaps accelerated as much as some expected. I don't think we're deviating too much from where w what we expected. Uh, it's right now. It's uh, we, we estimate it's about uh, one to two percent of the of the overall RAN market, and we we actually see that there are. There are some positive, uh, I think in general, the, the, the gap between uh, this, uh, these uh, overly optimistic expectations uh, and, and reality, the, the, it is starting to narrow. So I think expectations are, are, are being calibrated and I, I think there's a closer match there right now. Same with us, I mean, even if we have, I would say been pretty good and not have any, uh, been overly optimistic, well, we, we've had some adjustments as well, but now over the past couple of report updates, the, the adjustments are, are declining uh, or, 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 or being reduced. Uh, and I think we are getting uh, closer now too. And, but, it, but the market is, um, is, so it's not a big market right now, <laughs> but it is, it is trending in the right direction. It, it is growing, it's growing significantly faster. We sent out a press release recently. So for the 2Q23, we have about 60% uh, growth in private wireless RAN revenues year over year. Uh, so that's going significantly faster, let's say, what we see in the public, uh, public side of things. And I think going forward, most importantly, we are more optimistic about uh, uh, the growth trajectory when it comes to private. But at the same time, we're under no illusion here. It is, this, is a, this is a long journey. It's going to take some time. Uh, if you're starting from 1% to 2%, then you're growing to 20% to 30% KGAR, it's still gonna take some time before you move above the noise floor. Mm -hmm.